Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to our Road to Glory series, the Bubba Bradshaw story. And finally, we are in college. We have signed with Washington State. And there's just a couple things I want to go over with before I get into this video. For one, we have upped the skill level to Heisman. It was All-American for high school because that is supposed to be slightly easier for us. But now up at the max level at Heisman. Another thing, they didn't have the number 12. Had to switch to number seven because that's all they had. I don't know if you guys have played this or not, but the way Road to Glory works, you have to go to practice, do your best during practice to try to win your starting spot because it may say you will be a starting quarterback, but you still have to earn it. Regardless, you start as a third string, work your way up, do battles for the start for the next spot. So it would be second string and then starting. Just had to keep doing good in order to become the starter. And while also doing that, you're in coach's trust. I might be completely wrong because it says we're the starter already, which shouldn't be the case because I've never had that before, even if I went somewhere that said that we're going to be the starter. I guess we're just going to have to figure this out as we go. Um, I might be completely wrong. Maybe I'm stupid. Anyways, we got some skill upgrades. This is where you can make your player better. We're starting off at 81 overall right now. So as you guys go through here, we have 14,000 points. There's things that are a career boost, one game career one game stuff like that i normally stay away from the one game boost unless we have a huge game but honestly i think i'm going to do one here and i'm going to do the my rules get our strength release throw accuracy throw power and our overall actually up six that's massive already so we are now already up to an 87 overall somehow and I genuinely don't know for the starter. It says for the starter, we're just going to have to go to practice, see how this works. I don't know how these videos are going to end up. If I'm the starter right away, these will be a lot easier for me to do. So let's get right into our first practice at Washington State. It says depth chart position one. Out of all the Road to Glories I've done, even if it's said that we're going to be the starter off the rip, I have always had to battle for the starting spot. But it looks like we chose a really good spot to go to if we're going to be the day one starter here as a true freshman. Back to pass with Bradshaw. Um, well, just going to toss this deep to R1. That might be an interception. Luckily, that's dropped. Bubble screen here. Not much for us to do. Really shouldn't have thrown that. Not a good start to our college career. Bubble screen once more. Just going to roll out toss this over to Jackson. A big thing for us to do is that we got to get our coach's trust up if we already are the starter. Just so that we can... um go on and start audibly in plays and even picking our own plays to an extent. Just going to toss this over the middle. That's going to be Ollie. Ollie breaking tackles. Back to pass again. Can we loft that over the top? We can. That's Ollie. More XP for us. Pistol set for us. Oh, wow. Oh, we break the sack. We're going to run it with Bradshaw. And we fumble it with Bradshaw. Max Borgie falls on it, luckily. And that slant's going to open wide open. That's stribbling. Play action pass. That's open over the top. That should be a touchdown. Great plays by the DBs making a diving attempt at that ball. Another play action pass. Tossing it to the outside. We got Jackson. Rolling out of that one, we're just going to run with Bradshaw. Get ahead for a fair bit. Rolling out again. Hit the out route. That's Ollie. And last play of the practice. Toss it up for the end zone. Not going to quite get to the end zone. Good play, though. Good job practicing. You're in no danger of losing your starting position. That's good to hear. It's only been one practice. I hope we're not in trouble of losing our starting spot. Anyways, big game week one. Playing at Auburn, this is not going to be an easy game. Auburn should be very good. And we're a true freshman being thrown into the fire starting in our very first game. Looking at the team overalls, we are outmatched slightly 88 to 84, 86 to 83 in offense, and 92 to 87 in defense. And here we go. Our very first game of college. A rain game on the road. Versus a top school. We win the toss. We're going to choose the kick. And let's see how this one goes for Bubba Bradshaw's first college football start. 
Never mind, we didn't get the start, so I don't know what this game is talking about. And we're going to be out there to hold the uh, extra point. Why is it saying I'm the starter if we're not the starter? I don't understand what's happening. I'm going to be out there holding the kicks, though. Man, I was getting really excited, too, to be able to start this game. Our team, however, is playing very good. That is that is something that I like to see. As we kick a last second field goal in the second quarter, and we go up 10 going into the half. Fourth and goal, we're going to be forced to kick another field goal. Holding the ball is Bubba Bradshaw. The snap is good, the hold is good, and the kick is good. They score a touchdown. And we are going to fall to Auburn 17-16 to in our first game. And we start off 0-1. So now looking at this, it has a slightly off starter. Maybe we did just bad enough in that practice that we just got moved off. Only need like 23 points to get back up there. So I don't know what's going to happen. We'll figure this out one out as we go into week two. Week two, we have a game on the road at USC. They are ranked number 14 in the nation. A very hard game in a conference game early. But first, we have to go to practice. Back at practice. Now it says depth chart position two. So we need to get our coach trust up a little bit to probably battle for the starting spot again, I'd assume. We're going to have a lot of space here with Bubba. Can we make a man miss? We do. Get the block, and we're not going to get into the end zone, but a very good run there. We're going to run it with Bubba once more. Got a lot of space. Get out of bounds. Running it again as... The Heisman level DBs are insanely good. That's going to be wide open. We're making every right read right now. We are looking good. Under pressure. They brought a lot of people there. Still get it out in time. Five wide on this one. Just going to throw it short to Ollie. Rolling out. We're going to run with it with Bubba as everything is covered. We got a lot of space. We're going to put our shoulder down and get ahead inside the five. Under center. Four verticals. That's going to open wide. And that's Harris. Easy touchdown. And you're doing well next week. You can challenge for the next string. Well, that's big for us as we will be just holding kicks for the next one. But we have a position battle coming up next week. Next game on the road at number 14 USC. As we already know, we won't be playing in this one. Besides holding kicks as we will be challenging for the starting spot next week. They outmatch us by a lot. 93 to 84, 93 to 83 for offense and 93 to 87 on defense. We call heads. We win the toss. We're going to kick. USC will start with the ball. Our offense just cannot finish drives as we've been out to hold these field goals so much. Inside like the 10 or in the red zone. It just seems like they can't finish drives. USC takes the lead with the touchdown. Our offense can't get going, and as I say that, we score a touchdown to take the lead. Extra point, now a three-point game. And once again, just like last game, holding the field goal to end the half with just two seconds left. Will we be able to knock off this top team, or will we come just short again like we did versus Auburn? And that's big as we score another touchdown, going up 20-7 to over the 14th ranked team. A lot of scoring. But we're back out there holding an extra point. 33-29 we lead with just a minute and a half left. Can our defense get a stop and win us this game? They do. And although we didn't start, we go on the road and upset number 14 USC. Probably should be 2-0 at this point. We're 1-1 one one after just a one point loss to Auburn. Great start to the year still. And this week we have our position battle. Trying to get our starting spot technically back. We never started, but apparently we had it to start the year. I don't know what happened with that. Either way, we have a position battle. Who will be the starter for this next game versus FCS West? If we play like we did last week and during practice, we should easily be able to win this position battle, I feel. But let's find out. So we're going to toss this up, and that's a horrible start. And I don't like that they're giving us a bubble screen because I feel like we don't have a ton to work off here. But we're going to toss it. Jackson's going to get ahead. 
And that gives us 210 points right off the rip. We don't have a ton of um a ton of reps though, I will say. So we gotta keep playing good. Already up to 412. Hitting Jackson on that. He's gonna stiff arm forward for a little bit. That doesn't put us up much. And that's wide open down the middle. That should give us a lot. Jackson gets ahead inside the 10. Very close with just seven reps left. Tossing a quick one to Ollie. That should get us there. We won it. I don't know if it can go away though if we play bad here in these last few snaps. So still want to play good. Tossing it across our body. That's stribbling. What a throw by the big boy Bubba. We're going to run this. Get a few blocks. Can we make a man miss? What the hell just happened to that man? Play action pass. Not do anything stupid. Just check it down to Borgie. And we are now the number one on the depth chart starting quarterback for the Washington State Cougars in just week three of our freshman season. For our first start, we will be playing FCS West. I don't love playing these FCS teams, but it is what it is. I can't change the schedules here. But we heavily outmatched them 84 to 63 in overall, 83 to 63 in offense, and 87 to 63 in defense. We should be able to handle this team. But who knows, we may crumble under the pressure when we have our first career start. And we will start the home opener as we will win the toss. We will choose the kick. And FCS West will start with the ball. Our first career snap. As the starting quarterback, we're going to be handing it off to McIntosh. We give it there. And that's a loss. And this is why Bubba's always kept the ball in his hands. He's the best player out there all the time. No matter who's out there, he is always the best player. They are pressing Harris. Wonder if we can get something here. We can. It looks a bit underthrown. And our first pass attempt in college is an interception. Not a good start. We're going to lose our job already. We are down 10 to nothing versus FCS West. In the pistol now. It's going to be a handoff to the halfback. McTosh is going to get forward for around 9. Make it 8. We got to turn this game around. Bad start for us. Just going to check it down to Jackson. He's going to get the first and a little bit more. Calvin Jackson. Going to roll to the left here and try to hit X maybe across the middle. It's not going to open up, but we got a lot of space to run it with Bradshaw. He's going to get ahead for a lot. 22-yard rush for Bubba Bradshaw. Going to pass again. We have a few corner routes. Try to read these. I threw it to X on accident. It was actually open. It was just a very bad pass. We were under pressure. So that probably affected the ball. Bubba's going to drop back. We're going to roll out to the right. And not much opening here. A square opens up late. We find Stribling for the 30-yard reception. First and goal for the Cougars. Beat option here. I honestly don't love this play call. Going to run it anyways. They're going to key on me, and I'm going to fumble it. Halfback draw here on second and goal. From around the 19, a horrible play call. Absolute horrible play call. I don't understand that. And that's going to be the end of the first. As we're going to be trailing 10 to nothing. Third and goal from the 22. Not much we can do here. Looking for the end zone though. And it's going to be picked off. Absolute horrible start for Bubba in his first career start. As it looks like we may be dropped back down. To the second string quarterback if we don't switch things here. Bubba's just going to take this one up the middle. Put his shoulder down get ahead for 8. 3 for 23 on the ground. However, passing has not been great to start. Back to pass. We got an open man there on the right side. That's Jackson. 4 of 7, 54 yards. 2 picks for Bubba in his first career game. Back to pass. Going to roll out. Oh, that's not there. Not, not good. Not good at all. I can't get anything going. I am making horrible reads. And it looks like we are cracking under pressure like I said that we could. Every pass that goes up, it's, it's picked off. Every single pass. 17 to nothing. 
We have four interceptions in the first half in our first career start. This is not how I wanted this to go. We find the open man. That's Ollie. We got to turn this game around now. Not much we can do here. Probably going to look for the hat back across the middle. That's going to be open. That's McIntosh. He gets ahead for seven. Big third down. We got to convert. A big problem here for me is these plays they have me running. I don't love them. These are plays that I don't run myself much at all. I see triangle wide open. We're just going to take off as we got more yards with Bubba there. And we get out of bounds to stop the clock. Got to keep pushing this ball down the field and get a touchdown before the end of the half. And I know he burned him there, but we have so much space there. I had a feeling we'd probably underthrow that. Bubba gets out for 19 out of bounds again to stop the clock. Up to the 14. And they have us running the ball. I don't know why as we've been playing so well with me having the ball in my hands. On this drive, I should say. As that gets ahead for almost nothing. Wasted six seconds and a timeout and they're gonna have us run it again i i hate it i hate it so much it looks like a very runnable front but will it work not really we're gonna be four seas another timeout probably anyways third and six 15 seconds left i'm gonna lose my mind if they make me call another fucking oh i'm so fucking dumb i'm dumb i'm dumb i'm dumb i'm done i'm done i'm dumb i'm dumb i'm dumb Why didn't I throw it away? Oh my god. Cracking under the pressure is an understatement for this game. We have a lot of work to do in the second half. Wide open though. That's going to be Ollie. Gets off of man. Gets ahead for 28. That is huge. Good start for us. And they're going to have us run it again. Man, the running has not been good either. He's got some yards there. Make a man miss. Not going to because he runs right into him. Three yard carry for McIntosh. See if it'll open up. It does. Can those blocks hold though? McIntosh gets ahead for five. It's going to be third and three. Third and three now for Bubba. Need to convert. Rolling out to the left. Going to try to hit X. We do. That's going to be Calvin Jackson. I had for the big first down. First and ten. Five wide on this play. Don't know what we're looking for. We just need to make our proper reads. I miss square. Just going to toss this a circle. Holbert gets ahead for eight. 10 of 15, 140 yards and four picks. I mean, when we miss, we miss bad apparently. Because four out of our five incompletions have been interceptions. I try to throw that late to X. They just brought the man up. And we get hurt. And we... I don't know what just happened. I think we got hurt. Either way, back on the field now. We scored a touchdown while I was off the field. Probably should keep me out then. And just got to check this down to McIntosh. And I hate how he just tries to run to the outside. Get forward, get the first. Slowly but surely running out of time in this game. And we got a man open down the seam. That's Kelvin Jackson. And I can tell he's probably going to be our favorite target here at Washington State currently. As he finds his way to get open a lot. Second and eight. They're going to give us that play. I believe that we just hit uh, Jackson up the seam with. But it's going to be Ollie this time. And just going to throw this across my body. Not a smart pass. But Stribling gets to it. First and ten. From around the 11. McIntosh on the carry. He gets nowhere, as all of our runs have been. The end of the third, we still trail 20-7, to seven, but we are threatening. Play action pass here. They're going to send pressure. And looking at the corner of the end zone, or excuse me, the back of the end zone, and we can't get it to him. He stopped his route early. Need to score a touchdown here. Absolutely need to score here. They're going to send pressure. We got X open. And what a play on the ball by Anthony Bolden. And we got to go for this here. Massive fourth down. Must convert. And I hate this play they gave me. They gave me one route that I could literally hit for the end zone, honestly. And it was that corner route. It's covered up, so I had to throw it short. And we don't get it. Surprise, surprise. 
under pressure. Nothing at all opening. Just going to toss it up to X. It's going to be an interception. Not shit I can do. Everything is covered up. We just, and they score a touchdown, and it's it's over. Michael Green has three interceptions. We're probably going to be benched again and going to have to fight for the starting spot again. And not a good start to our Washington State career. We hit Ali for a deep one, 42 yards. First and 10. Cross the 50. Going to roll out. And we're just going to take off with Bradshaw get out of bounds. And we're hit late. No flag. Because they don't like the fat person. What did he say? Oh, one on fourth downs. Another play I don't love here. Trying to hit square, and it's knocked away, and it's going to be a turnover on downs. We're going to lose this game to FCS West. 27-7, to it looks like. Our first college game as a starter did not go as planned. 16-27, of 27, 252 yards. No touchdowns. 69 rushing yards on the day. But five interceptions. We're going to be benched after this week. More than likely, I'm going to have to fight for the job again. So looking at the coach's trust, we're back down to the second string. So we're going to have to try to battle to get that starting job back once again. This next week, we're going to be playing versus Appalachian State. But we won't be playing as we just played horrible. But anyways, I don't know how long this video is going to be. This is kind of experimenting at first. That's going to do it for me here on this first episode. Video might be a little bit shorter than the next few or longer. I don't know yet. But thank you guys for watching this one. Hope to see you on the next one. Later, later.